So when we now say sensory neural hearing loss, we actually cannot specifically say exactly what's wrong. It's like a fever. could e come from any number exactly. of things. Exactly. Interesting. And the reason for that really goes back to the tiny size of the inner ear to the point that if you image it using the current uh, state-of-the-art imaging tools that include computer tomography or a CT scan or MRI, which is magnetic resonance imaging, you don't see cells in the living human inner ear. You just see a gray or a white blob. Uh, and the organ is too small to be detectable by technologies of that resolution. Another issue is that you cannot biopsy it. It's so tiny that if you did tissue biopsy, you would destroy it. So that has really stimulated lots of very promising research in the area to improve diagnostics for hearing loss, which include both high resolution imaging of the inner ear and liquid biopsy as opposed to tissue biopsy. You just shrug your shoulders, and at this point, we say, well, we don't know. But now, one exciting research direction that we are pursuing with other investigators at Stanford and in collaboration with Google is to use AI to help us figure out which of these variants of unknown significance is actually significant. And by using those tools, we can establish the diagnosis in 80% of people. Uh, so. Now that's for hearing loss, and you really asked about tinnitus, but this is really to tell you that both of these terms are huge umbrella terms, and it's been super frustrating not having the ability to establish precise diagnosis to guide therapy. 